Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Julian today, along with... PSM First Mate Drakeel at your service. 
And yeah, welcome back to Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. And last time I thought we cleared the deck of uh, any Russian soldiers, but apparently not. So uh, we're jumping right into the thick of it. And again, they aren't that dangerous. Especially if they turn their... Okay, just casually walk up. Uh, Did he okay. forget me? Had a rifle? Apparently, that we was going for a bayonet charge. Okay. Uh, last time we managed to get the third parts of the infernal machine that we're looking for, but then well we got captured. And <laughs> another. And yeah, now we need to get off this boat. Preferably with all of the pieces. Where are they all coming from? Is there just a rushing nesting doll somewhere that they're all jumping out of? Why did you give me that mental image? <laughs> because I love tormenting you. Oh, you... Just you wait. Okay, we are a bit low on health, but we should be able to manage still. Yeah, Is that Monkey no, Island over there? I would not actually not be surprised, but that island look did look suspicious. It is probably where we'll be heading up. Okay, he remembered that he had a rifle up until he tried to charge us. Wait. I think that is Monkey Island. I don't think it actually is, more just jokes since it's another LucasArts thing, but uh, we'll see. I would honestly not be surprised if there's a Guybrush reference somewhere in the Indian, Indiana Jones games. Yeah. Nope. They did mostly do Star Wars reference jokes. True. Uh, let's see. We came from downstairs, I'm pretty sure. So, let's see. Kitchen. Yep. I keep confusing the jump and action button because it's control and alt. And I'm pretty sure we haven't been in here. So, what is up here then? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, Drakir asked. <coughs> In Nile River, the kingdom of Kush. These exotic sites are foreign to Sovietsky Grajdani, but that will change as we change the world, eh? That's where the Babylonian secret lies, buried with King Nob, who used it to defeat his Egyptian Ugni totally. Somehow, no one has ever claimed the treasure. Is it too well hidden to? dangerous. Does the power strike the finder like a curse? I wonder about these things. Then, when my resolve weakens, we capture Jones. Now, using that Americanski adventurist and the tools he has so kindly provided, we budjemimiet uspieshni. Indeed, history is on our side. Spot Jack failed. Yep. Hello. <laughs> Aha. Part That's of the convenient. infernal machine. That title drop. Oh, dear this door is locked. I'm and pretty also, sure it hasn't been called the infernal machine locked. at all so far. Yeah. True. And also, I don't know if it is talking fluent Russian or not. Yeah, I, I have no idea what he is actually saying in parts of it. Like, some parts can be guessed, like Amerikanski, Adventurist, and such. Uh, but others, yeah, not a bloody clue. Yeah, like, the, there are moments where it's very obvious it's a very bad fake accent. I don't know how the moments where you go, is it or is it not? Yeah, I think that the Russian is uh, accurate, but the, the accent isn't. Uh, 
uh, also something that we have discovered since last time is that the moment that we buy the secret map, it does start the uh, extra level. So we'll probably try to delay that as long as possible. If need be, I'll put down a save at the end of a level, just so we can start it up uh, from there. Yeah, was it that level extremely hard? Yeah, not extremely hard, but it is a, supposed to be a test of uh, your skills up to that point. We probably won't have the, uh, the parts to use with that. For now, though, uh, let's see. Yeah, we have a little crane game. Where is that crane? It's over there. Okay. And that is one of the crystals from last time. So yeah, we need to we need to hook that up and then use it to get up. Okay, more. And one more. Okay, that looks lined up in that way, not in this way, though. It might that be now. Oh, I, yep, that is it. Okay, typically I'm a lot worse with perspective. Well, that ought to do it. Okay. Uh, not that, not that one. This one. Up, there we go. Up and out. Okay. I don't think there's a. I don't think there's too much more that we can do on this boat. So let's have a look. I thought we were making the. Uh, we have the high ground. Oh. Hello, big. Okay, big boy goes down like any other. You want to get an angle on him? Come on. They had him there for a moment. Uh, how did we get down there? Good question. I just have to jump. Okay, it, it may have been it may have been the angle, but it looked like he was shooting me in the dick three times. <laughs> around with anything here well, then, just imagine you have to wait in line in the afterlife to escape with death to uh, where you know unless you to be sent to and you have to explain how you died yeah I, I got shot in the dick by an American doctor <laughs> oh good mm. gods yeah, that could lead to a lot of questions. Oh, hello. Yeah, you, you think it'd be smarter to put that right next to that, but I will. Now what? So, yeah, our next destination is going to be Egypt, apparently. How many other parts are we after? Yeah, I believe there are four parts. There were four priests after all. Oh, this is how we're supposed to get down. Oh. Then I've been a dumb not done time. I thought it was free. No, we have one more. And then we return to Babylon to put this thing together. At first, we'll need to get off this ship. 
Marco will probably yeah. want to mess with the engine to slow them down at the very least. <laughs> no gun on you or something? I'm pretty sure I, I thought of some hey. prime pool or something. A crank to lower that boat. See? Crank, look more like a wheel. Uh, okay, we did we did find our stuff. I thought we d didn't pick it up or something. Okay. Uh, close that, please. Or actually, oh, we're over here already. I thought it was on the other side. Okay. Then yeah, eleven point E as the end, and then we put this thing that into didn't place. Work. Okay, the doctor refuses to work while his hands are occupied by pistol. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, but I was going to I was going to ask how the hell is he going to get down on it? Yeah, was, <laughs> that makes more I'm, sense than jumping. Yeah, I was the wonder is he gonna jump or slide it down the road? Oh, good God. Anyways, now we cut to the entire Monkey Island series as Indiana Jones has an identity crisis and tries to become a pirate. Yeah, that line did look strange like uh, the old school uh, Monkey Island. Yeah, and it would have sort of fit with the smaller island on the side. Okay. Uh, let's see, short on anything, we still have plenty of healing. Uh, more than plenty, we have almost two dozen healing items. Uh, yeah, let's just see how much we can save up before the end, and then we just stock full on the medicine. <laughs> Other than the... Uh, <clears throat> and still leave men... Yeah, still leave cash for the... <clears throat> for the map. Funeral pyramids of the Nubian kings. Volodnikov thinks one of those kings came from Babylon, and his tomb is where? What's this? King Solomon's Mines, property of Heinrich Horner, Actian Gesellschaft, 1923. <laughs> More like wishful thinking incorporated, if you ask me. <laughs> okay. What's this? Once again, we're left out in the open to try and find where the hell we need to go. And wait, are these movable? Uh oh. Yeah, bloody knew what I heard. Not about this. Yeah, you oh, you can't kill them. Yeah, we shot. We them. killed that one. We can't take aim at them, so we can't kill them. Okay. Now, can we actually move these? They look... Yep. There's something underneath the, the next one. Okay. Either these blocks are really light, or... <laughs> or Dr. Jones lifts more than he lets on. Bloody, yeah. People usually try to make jokes on hyenas to be cowardly weakly, but no. They are extremely dangerous. Yeah, they will They will try to swarm you and just absolutely tear you to pieces. Yeah, and they also have quite powerful <sighs> bites. They have to crush bones. Yeah. Okay, I thought something was going on downstairs, but it's about one of the cats or something. Uh, why do we not want to push it in here? 
There's nothing in there, and hello there. Hmm. Okay, I can feel a sneeze coming. Oh, yeah. It's always the most annoying when you can feel it coming, and it just does not happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with it. It's kind of annoying for you're trying to get prepared to turn away to not sneeze on something. But sometimes you feel like, oh, it's going to be a big one. Where's and nothing happens. One. Hello there, and goodbye there. Well, now. The miners were happy to blow a hole in history, but their tunnel collapsed. Is it safe? Don't worry, I, I won't hurt you. Well, you don't look so bad. It's the hyenas that bother me. Okay, so we need to get uh, rid of the dogs. Oh, speaking uh, of... Uh, hold on! Yep. Clarification! They are not dogs! They're not even canines! Okay. They, they are their own group. However, the closest other animals they relate to are actually felines. Okay. Would not However, guess that. they are they are not felines. They, they just uh -huh. share the same ancestor as felines. They split off early on, so to okay. speak. So they're more between cat and dog. Sort, sort of. Yeah. No, they are... They more of a conversion evolution. I'm out of room here. I heard something hiss behind that. So the doctor's oh, not so going to be happy. Yeah. So, there have been ancient uh, animals that have been mistaken for hyenas. Like, Hyenodon is actually a canine. <laughs> but what's named Hyenodon? <laughs> oh, bloody heck. But yeah, Hyena was named Hyena Don due to they mistook it for Hyena since they have conversion evolved to be similar to Hyenas. But yeah. Also, another dangerous thing about Hyenas mm -hmm. they are way smarter than dogs. Yeah. They have been testing them. Like, Hyenas that have been. Around humans are even more smarter. Like they have done tests with them to test the IQ and they finished many tests like what was it like three, four times faster than dogs. Okay. Now I'm kinda of curious what an IQ test for a dog looks like. I forgot no 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 is they they basically just knocked the dogs out of the park, but they that also probably is the reason why we've not been able to domesticate them. Probably, yeah. They're a bit too smart. Like, there has been some some taming of them, but not full out domestication. But they will probably it's start to realize things. Oh, yep. Okay. Someone should be sued for un <laughs> for unsafe storage practices. Wait, what? Yeah, they had TNT stacked up very poorly. Oh, oh. That understood. But that's not what I said. What the heck about? Why are they expecting bigger boom? Yep, yep. Okay, machete versus hyena. Yeah, they, they come back. These here. are some very big hyenas. They, they do get big. I'm like, I, I, I know so much about hyenas. I'm kind of surprised about it. I think the biggest one was known as Dano Krukuta. Because I guess it would mean terrible hyena. And if you think these hyenas are big, you don't want to face that one. Who came hyenas, but they were almost kit. bear sized. So, you a could say. Came, if I'm not mistaken. You could say that uh, hyenas are no laughing matter. Yeah, basically, yeah. Especially when it comes to the ancestors. A bazooka. Some more firepower. 
Also, hello. Uh oh. <laughs> Just hit up a fucking bazooka. And I get the feeling that's the last weapon we'll find because that's number nine. And again, there is always the zero button or something special, maybe. No. Where's the bloody beasts? There's one. Um, hit bull. Crocodile. There we go. That's the last of them. Okay, kid. Time to get out. Anybody home? Okay, he snuck out. Yeah, as it is, the kid is smart. He... I, I, a hyenas might actually be encouraged to attack a child. Yeah, they tend to they tend to be easy prey for anything bigger than a house cat. Uh, there's still stories sometimes from uh, people's dogs just going absolutely mad for some reason or another. I think most cases are linked back to some sort of a brain infection or something. And uh, yeah, you can guess from there. I <laughs> don't think I need to explain what uh, happens then. It could be big yeah. dogs, even s some of the smaller species can still cause a lot of damage, and hello. Actually, let me take a look first. Okay, there's actually nothing to climb to here. Not that we can see, so why can we climb there? Hmm. We might need to do some explosive excavation ourselves. For now, let's take a look at the biggest place here. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, all hands on deck to keep the door closed. So back, I'm pretty sure that is. Uh, here's the way down. I didn't want to accidentally turn and just fall into where. This isn't a natural pit. Horner dug a mighty big hole here. I saw, I saw something as a familiar symbol on the door. No. Oh. oh, there was a glint. Uh, the one I've mistook for a fairy. Okay. Okay, I thought I heard something. Oh, yeah. that's what I heard. There's scorpions downstairs. Why do you have scorpion downstairs? There. Now I've got power to spare. Yeah, there's scorpions in the pit. And this. Okay. Power is the excavator, or at least the upward lift for it. And they'd have, they'd have trucks stop here to have the stuff loaded into them. Let me actually put down a save. 12.1. Specifically because of stuff like that. I was more expecting to get a bit of momentum onto it. And let and grab on. But oh well. Now before we get whacked on the head. Hey, hey, oh. Okay, this wheel will roll again. Okay, good random. Anything down here? Oh, hello. What's this? What do you know? Something shiny here. A pocket watch. It's inscribed Heinrich Horner. Oh, well, you could say he 
literally dug his own grave. Hmm. Oh dear. Is he doing no. a solo operation or something then? <laughs> did he get? Did he piss off his workers? That or it could be they. They he missed a few died and they just shattered away. Okay, we need to. Can we just get scooped up? Nope. There we go. Up we go. And flip. Well, look, flip per se. <laughs> There's something over there, but I, I don't think I can balance on that rail. There you are. Thanks to English gentlemen for killing the fierce hyena. American. I'm an American. Civilized, like English, yes? Don't be too sure. Industrialized, too, I bet. <laughs> Here to reopen the mine. I think there's something over there I need. You want to help me find out? That chap Horner was very industrialized. He discovered King Solomon's mine right here in Meroway. Those mines are a myth. You gonna help me or not? What if there's something I need? Will you help me? Maybe. Depending. I don't do miracles or anything fancy, kid. I have observed that industrialized men wear watches. Now, if I have a watch... Ah! Hey, not so fast. A bit uh, casual 90s uh, racism going on, but uh, at, at least nothing, well, worse than that at the moment. Take good care of this kid. It once belonged to the man who discovered King Solomon's mines. Ha! Now I own a machine. I am just your eye. It's a start. Um. Today at 11 o'clock a.m. I leave for Kenya. Soon I shall have my own factory. You okay, ambitious little kid? <laughs> Yeah, I don't admire a vision, if not a bit concerning as well. Yeah, there's a bit of a thin line sometimes between uh, ambition and illusion. But, yeah. <laughs> now then, what next? We obviously need to find something more than just a fancy crystal. Let's see. I think I saw climbable, climbable areas on the other side of a, one of these pyramids. Let's see. Hold on a second. There's an opening yeah. there. Yeah. Do you see there? I'm guessing yep. we know where those, uh, or yeah, where that crystal may go then. Yeah, I about to say that earlier, but I was chewing food. <laughs> okay. Don't know who this is, but very clearly some sort of hippo. Well, I, I was able to know her name. She has actually been appearing in a movie series called Moon Knight. Okay. Yeah, apparently people like her. It, it, okay. <laughs> the doctor needs to go see his doctor about a occasional seizures, apparently. Not the Ministry of Silly Walks? Well, they don't let him into the Ministry of Silly Hats, at the very least. His hat, his hat is too serious. Now what you have to say, what the heck is so silly about it? Yeah, they don't let him in. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, we've got a shiny crystal. We've got a bazooka. Uh, part of me wanted to use the bazooka on the hyenas, but it would be a waste of ammo. We very obviously have something here. Yeah, and I suspect the bazooka would be used for something else that requires it. Ah, here it is. Okay. Now, we need to end up over there. And for that, we have quite a ways to go. Let's see. Right up. Then just right. Okay. Right up, right down, right up. And over there... It becomes a bit harder to see from this angle. Okay, just up and left. Okay. Should be easy enough. <clears throat> um, let's see. I don't think we're that close to the end of this game. Like, we'll still probably have uh, two or three more streams out of this, unless we are going through this one really fast. And, yeah, then we'll be moving on to Tomb Raider Legends, which probably won't take this long. Hmm. I mean, what a, it, are Tomb, Tomb Raider games shorter compared to indie games? Uh, yeah, indie... It, it, it typically goes a lot slower with things, since it, it is still an action-adventure, but it's more adventure than action. Whereas the Tomb Raider series leans more towards the action side. Hmm. That kind of makes sense, especially since... Uh, how acrobatic Lara is. Yeah, it's also a bit of a, a thing of the time uh, stuff. Both in when the game actually the uh, yeah the both in when the games were made and the time that they are set in that is so going to fall. <laughs> or not? Okay, but we do have the bloody spiders again. Come on, Doctor. Take aim. There we go. A bit oversized for a spider, but then again, that spider is oversized. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as I was saying... Okay, just a snake statue. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> the Tomb Raider games take place in the modern time, so like the 2000s plus, and they were also made in the 2000s. And, well, as this game was made just before the edge of the 2000s, and is set <laughs> almost in the 50s. Yeah, no. I think the first Lord Cross game came, came out before the Millennium ship. Now what? Yeah. So, yeah, Lara Croft, uh, Tomb Raider is a very old series. And the same with Indiana Jones. Uh, hmm. I would actually have to check which of them had their first uh, game, well, first. This door is locked. Okay, that's a door. I was, I thought it was a pushable block. I think Indiana Jones had games first, but do they were more point and click, though. True. Yeah, this once. Now push this one over one. Yeah, I think the original Tomb Raider came out in the in ninety something. Yeah, like ninety seven, ninety eight. As I, I did say before the Millennium Shift, so not too far away from two thousand, but not not yet, so to speak. Let me actually look it up whilst we're going around this place, or this wall. 
Yeah, if I remember that she and Abe and a few other characters had been, had... I would say... Only expecting to become the official mascots of the PlayStation. Yeah. Let's see, is this and it wasn't a plan. Somewhere? They just became so popular they actually became mascots. Oh, someone's lurking. Hello there, Noon. And goodbye into the shadows he goes, Noon. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. Okay, this is talking about the most recent version. Uh, let's see. Ah, Core Design developed the first one in 96. All right. No, they did start developing in 96. Uh, uh, yeah, I read that wrong. How did I read a 6 as a 9? But yeah, 96 was the original Tomb Raider. Now, let's see. When was the first major Indiana Jones game. Uh, oh yeah, those were probably already at the... at the 80s, probably from Nintendo 8-bit and all that. Uh, let's okay, let's see Indiana Jones video games. Yeah. We're not be surprised if we're in for DOS as well. Let's see. Atari 2600. Temple of see? Doom. Sedesk Spectrum. Uh, let's see. When is, does it give a release date? 82. So, yeah, 14 years. Well. The original concept that they came up with for Lara was basically indie, but uh, yeah, it was yeah, it was straight up Indiana Jones basically. So, can we? Okay, I actually expected some damage from that. Laser Boy Seven Y Seven. Majestic music is indeed majestic. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, there, Glacier Boy. I think I had you here before. Not so sure my s oh spider. Uh, I hope you. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, I hope you are doing well today. What the what heck was that? that? Hmm. There was again. Oh, there's so there's sound effect in the pyramid itself. Uh, oh yeah, it, it is so many I know. It just. Uh, they just DM me who it is. <laughs> okay. They, 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 are a, they are a follower as well, and one of my friends. That's why I recognize the name. I was pondering, is it? Is that him? And it was apparently, is it in him? <laughs> yeah, you, talking about him like him, you make it sound like they're freaking Voldemort. But, uh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Welcome, Glacier Boy. <laughs> Always nice to meet another of Rakir's friends. Oh, they, they've been here before, but it was quite a while ago. I forgot I what wouldn't game be surprised. <laughs> My memory is well known in how crappy it is. Oh. Uh, sh should we call you... Uh, wait, no. Uh, Alien the Forgotten would probably be a slight incorrect. <laughs> like, I Alien know I don't get much viewership, but I'd rather think it's more because people don't know me and <laughs> they forget about me. Uh, I, I, I guess it's more of a... Indian the Forgetful? Hello? I didn't actually see that there. I was thinking box, so probably item. Shiny ruby. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm pretty sure we can get into the next area, at least. Also, I like that... This this game isn't as tied down to the to uh, 90 degrees angles with stuff like this that we we can just go up or down a slope that is at a different angle. Let's see. A yeah, bit of a drop, but shouldn't be any damage. 
But yeah, uh, welcome. We're playing Tomb Raider. Not, not Tomb Raider. We were talking about Tomb Raider. We are playing Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. And we are currently hunting down the fourth of four parts of uh, said Infernal Machine. And, well, this is one of them. A uh, bit of a, a rattler. But a bit more destructive effect. It, Yeah, that's also a bit of a destructive effect. What the heck? Okay, we can't climb through that. What happens if we press these again? Yep, they actually get lifted up. Okay, is there anything underneath that one? No, there isn't. Is, is this what happened to some of the workers? Uh, at least one intruder, I presume. Also, just in case these aren't only on uh, command. Ooh. Now, let's see. Yep, damn it. Okay, I was pretty sure we were going to get poisoned there, but luckily not. Okay, light you up. I like that we have the option to light those things up, but it's not required or anything. Help uh, to see easier. So, who of you punks is feeling lucky? <laughs> They can't get off the ledge. Oh. Yeah. They... Now what? Oh dear. What's this? That was a bit unfair. Medicinal herbs. You broke the gun ah. to a pincer fight and wait. Medicinal herbs. Well, I guess uh, Glacier Boy is feeling lucky. Yeah, they're the one <laughs> who didn't get shot. That is true. And I didn't get shot either. Yes. Uh, you're a small target and too gamey anyways. <laughs> to be eaten. Was that a double pun? <laughs> Maybe. If it was, it wasn't entirely intentional. Well, do game. Let's see. Ah, that way. Okay. What the heck? Did I break your soul stone here? Hmm. Okay, we're getting into more and more untouched parts of the pyramid. Hello. Yeah, this the, the probably paint's explain. clear. Egyptian hieratic writing. It says, The light of knowledge opens all doors. Oh, sure. And a dime will get you a cup of coffee. Let's see. Do we need to set this alight? Or... Oh, this wood's pretty dry. Make a nice fire. Okay, <laughs> Big hints. Holy! A prismatic eye. What's it looking at? And there's that hole we saw. Okay. I did not expect uh, half a transformer to pop up. What? <laughs> oh, fuck you. It was just a box. <laughs> a box that popped out automatically on its own. I'm pretty sure the uh, old Nubians didn't have heat sensors or anything like that. I feel like the, it looked like the plate they had over uh, the bonfire yeah. reacted to the wave. Of the, 
the warm air of the fire. Yeah. What are we here? Except for more note ropes. Note ropes, really? And we found another unlucky soul. Okay, this time not from a trap. Hello. Expected that from a box with snakes on it. I see you in there. Come out, you miss you misshapen gummy worm. You really try to get some colorful insult against the enemies in games, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, these are some pretty colorful snakes after all. Wait, it's on the ledge there, I think. Yeah, it can't get off. Luckily enough. I get the feeling <laughs> Indy is getting quite a bit of a satisfaction of all of this. Out of all of this. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, come on. There we go. Light up the snake. And up that way. Okay. What is that? What? Yeah, what the... else? <laughs> Ooh, sealer. Mood eater. <laughs> okay, from the least touched area to the most touched, it seems. And well, we're going to touch it a bit more. Hmm. Okay. Medicinal herbs. Oh, a another crack. Let's see, what is all of this? Okay, that's the way out. And what is here? Yeah, what is here? What, what have we here? <laughs> Medicinal herbs. Well, hello, hello. Okay. Kudos to them to actually add paint to here, for they, they did paint the houses and all that, quite a lot. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that is completely blocked off. Can we go down here and get back out, or is that, yeah, that's a death drop, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, I hope I misheard you. A death drop. Yeah, if I thought you said death frob, I thought, wait, what? Okay. Let's get up. Uh, of course. Well. Time to start gunning. Oh dear. Oh, grenade. Oh, oh. Smart Ooh. guy throwing it ahead of me. Okay. Self is the ammo. Oop. Oh. Run! Where? There you are. Okay. I'll take these potatoes off of you. A grenade. Potatoes. Where? 
Okay, wait, I think I realized that I have seen scenes where people play hot... Well... Unwillingly play uh, hot potato in panic with grenades. Yeah. He's a, he tried to be smart by rolling out of the way, but he was too slow. Mouser again. There's something about the Mouser design that I find interesting. It's, it's probably just the fact that it has that rather fat uh, clip on before the... Uh, that's a rather fat clip be at before uh, in front not in front of that's the word i was looking in front of the clip not the clip the trigger but... oh dear gods it yes, kind of looks most... like hmm? is there one yeah uh, it, it's mostly because most pistols have the clip in the holster so yeah that just puts it as make <clears throat> makes it stand out and all that yeah and it kind of looks like a one of the early attempts to make a rocket pistol. And yes, people, the rocket pistol worked somewhat. Let's see, can we push this? It was nope. not pro. I'm out of room. People could shoot and survive it just fine. The pistol did not, however. After and a few shots, it will fall apart. And you kind of need your weapons in one piece to actually be able to use them. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I see Glacier Boy picking up where I said somewhat. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, yeah, as Ian said, it's an issue when the, you, you want your gun to stay together. Hmm. And I think it was kind of from there where they stopped trying to... Like, they started with pistol, and they saw how it... What they did to the pistol, and thought... Yeah, it's not worth trying to do this with a rifle. Okay. But that's probably the closest real-life attempt we had to do... Make a bolt gun or bolt pistol. I think I missed something in here. Uh... Let's actually take the other route in to see how far we can actually go back that way. I think they tried to do this during World War II or shortly after. So, yeah, it, it they could maybe run into a prototype. No, the, the entire thing was a prototype. Okay, down a bit. And, and what across. is that? Let's see. True, except it wouldn't be the size of a <laughs> toaster like a bolt pistol. Yeah. I Luckily, it... Oh, it, oh luck, luck, it depends who you ask. I think we, we have another friend who would be deeply disappointed that it, it never left prototype face. Guessing we need to. Can we push this thing twice, or do we need to pull it? Yeah. What is in here with us? I can't yep. any further. <laughs> okay. Oh, you I, did die. I did not expect that thing to actually come back down again. Oh, it must be that block, I'm guessing. Okay. Uh, well, that means we'll have to go get rid of the, <laughs> the Soviets again. But at least we now know what to do with this puzzle. Uh, it's already open. Oui. We just need to go around. Yeah, I did not expect that to come down ever again. <laughs> like in, in most cases with stuff like this, yeah, something like that will just stay up. And it gave only a really short notice on, yeah, that it was, that wasn't the case here. Yeah, you, you should probably, 
Yeah, once you kill the Soviets, you should probably save. Okay, first we're going to see if we actually can get around this thing now. Yeah, there's like zero warning at all. Actually, that's, that can't be the block on the other side. It's too close. Or... And what? Where did we move that block from then? Good hmm. question. Yeah, a bit of a drawback of these older puzzles. Like, Pro, it doesn't... You know, pro, we said it multiple times, it doesn't... Oh, I see now. It doesn't hold your hand and such. Uh, but the uh, negative is, of course, that sometimes it can get you stuck. But I'm, I'm guessing the moment we would have crossed over that as it was held up uh, by the mechanism alone, it would have just dropped down anyways. Oh, dear. So, yeah, let's get Indy and his uh, sweaty armpits over. No spiders, no snakes. Okay. No, this is part of the mural. I, I thought is that just a massive freaking uh, safety hat or something? Maybe it, um, I, I think the crooked one is called Zepek. Zepek something. So back. I'm pretty sure the Nubians are need the... Okay. Yeah, it might be so peck something. It has been a while and wait, did that? Did that I open? Yep. Okay. Ancient Nubian uh, motion detector. No, not motion detector. Just camera uh. I think that's Isis as in the goddess yeah the goddess yes I forgot there is a unpleasant group using a similar uh, using an acronym that accidentally spelled the same thing it could be I think Isis uh I think she is often depicted with uh, bird wings like that, but not a cultural expert at all, so yeah, I'm... take with the salt mine. Yeah, for I, my Egyptian before I knew have become extremely rusty. No. Okay, straight up. Oh, lovely. Don't mind me. Yeah. Yeah, you would not find me touching anything with webs like that without gloves at all. I knew it. Okay. okay, levitation thingy. And... There is something else in here with us, ain't it? Not that I remember at the very least. And hello, that's another one of these. He found a noob. Hmm. And huh, I, I, I wonder if you did kill the Soviets again. Yes, you did see after them. Uh, we have ju we just haven't gone outside yet. They aren't in the pyramids. Anything new? The absolute moment that I tried to step onto it, huh? Okay. Does this need to be pulled or anything? No. Okay. Then what is the purpose of this crash can? I think they jump to. Doesn't. Isn't this a trap? Wait, 
A noob point looking there. And there's a skull. There we go. Sneaky. And there we have one of those crystals that we need. And elevator. Elevators. And we're exactly where we need to be. So there. Let's get high. Uh, Not that way. The light of knowledge opens all doors. Gee. Come on. There we go. Need to be standing a bit specific. Yeah, I, I'm guessing the... Yeah, the heat of... <clears throat> the warm air pushes it up. Hmm. Do we need to do anything more here? It's not... Act it's looking out, but it's not actually... Well, doing anything. We need to put this thing in place. So it's a very good close up of the wall. Hmm. That didn't quite work. I guess we need somewhere. So what is with this cartwheel? Wait, is it my cart? You put a wheel on it earlier. Now we pulled one off. Uh, Hold on a moment. Yeah, then... Okay, then the question is, why? Okay, I thought I saw a hidden area, but no. Hmm. Oh, there was the... The shutter shutting down. Okay. For a moment, I thought something opened up. That's quite the opposite, Same. actually. Okay. Just keeping ready for any surprise guests appearing behind us. Hey, sir! Zoom tight. Uh, thank you. Because I'm the one doing the sneezing. Okay, camera a bit glitchy with the angle, but yeah. That is a bit uh, creepy. Yeah. No. The eye of horror is being a bit uh, literal this time. Okay. I can imagine uh, that scared the heck out, the heck out so of someone. There we go. Now, that is two... That's two fires in two pyramids. But there are four total. There we go. And now, probably good idea to do a save. Let's see, 12.7, bit close to the previous, but I will. Oh. Ow. You just get shot on both your bum cheeks. <laughs> yeah, it was rock hard ass. Uh, that rock hard ass again. It You're going to see abs, weren't you? Yeah. You... Oh, well, hold on. Okay, there is light shining around. Yeah, I was the... I was to say that earlier, that it's to probably do something. Oh. I'm, I'm pretty sure the other grenadier managed to kill themselves there. Ooh. A 
grenade. Actually, whilst we have these... That... Uh, uh, Dr. Jones? <laughs> you smell like a girl. I will see you throw like a toddler. Uh, he, he practically dropped out on his foot. Uh. Okay, give me that. Wait, hold on. If that one lights there, what does the other one light at? I was looking out to the other side there. Oh, oh wait. Crystal. Yeah, and, uh, look up. For I saw the purple line. Okay. Wait, oh, I, I thought... I thought we lit up one in that pyramid, but no, that's the one we climbed. I, we didn't go down into that one. Okay. What is there to find here, then? <laughs> Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Worst grenades for of the year. Dr. Jones needs to work on his throw more, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that was what that was what I, why I was laughing. Then I got surprised by In a pioneering operation, Dr. Jones deftly restores the patient's condition. Okay, that just looks creepy. What the heck? It's been a scorpion ideal the whole time. I don't remember the scorpion being there. No, is but, there another statue oh. needing eye surgery here? Yep, there we is. We could have done that earlier, couldn't we? Uh, it wouldn't have what activated without the light. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. Pretty sure there wasn't a scorpion in the in here earlier. Hmm. We'll need to get another crystal. Or oh, wait, can we use the other one? I don't think we'll be able to pull it back out, but it it is worth a shot. What about the fees? Maybe we should have found more of them. Okay, so we can just pull it out. Uh, see? If we were to use one of each, we should have found more by now. Yeah. Okay. Time for Dr. Jones' sacred operation. That Scorpion is very interested in what the hell is going on with the door. Oh yeah, I didn't know that Anubis was supposed to be a Cyclops. I think he's supposed to be Anubis. <laughs> yeah, more likely an Anubite, which is, I believe, a servant of Anubis. Yeah, that term before, just unsure. I only heard them in fantasy games, which made me all, all unsure if it was an actual uh, thing, I or just them having a play of words. Can we? I very much doubt we can do this. Yep, too high. Who is his eye was poked? <laughs> And he's been overdoing it with the eye drops, which makes his eye look so glassy. What? Uh, something there. Hmm. Let's see, we need to get something out of this pyramid and this pyramid still. 
question is, how do we get in? Wait. You could climb on it, uh, that uh, pyramid's uh, backside. Uh, oh, bloody heck. <laughs> I didn't know that pyramids had asses. We were supposed to have them. You know what I mean? I mean, there's nowhere to climb through here. Unless there's like an invisible wall or something. Let's see. Might be something we missed. There is a discoloration here. But we can't actually do anything with that. Yes. <laughs> it's a really flat wear. Hmm. It's a bit cracked, ain't it? Are we supposed to use the relic? We can't use it whilst we're climbing, though. And the spectator sport for the scorpion is over. Oh, here comes, <laughs> here comes their brother to exact revenge. And they almost got it. Don't get cocky. Here we go. No. This one is very obviously going to shine somewhere in this direction. And that one likely out to that. But then the question still remains of how we get in. Hmm. Very obvious snakes inside. We, we can't push or pull this. There's no room to maneuver. Well, Is we this supposed to be the in. exit? There's no room to maneuver. I'm guessing we're clearing a path that we was blocking or Let's see is there anything no like the absolute best i can think for something to do here is to try and get onto the pillar there but i don't see where we could go from there we can't jump high enough anyways so Hmm. Is Back the on the ground. Point we need to look it up. Maybe we we've seen a few blocks down here that are blocking parts. See, is there a cracked wall or something we're missing? Oops. Actually, Oops. there's enough Hello. space to shimmy there. It's okay, yeah, this is leading us somewhere. All what right. Is else with here with us? For the, I don't think those some mummies we are hearing. Hmm. Okay. And I suspect you've forgotten hmm. what it is. Now, if there is supposed to be anything, I don't remember what. It say that uh, was it that well hidden with uh, is that curse? Damn it! Like why do no one found the treasure yet? I would suspect that there's something that kills them. I'm guessing it's all of it's all of these bastard spiders. I'm out of room here. This way. I'm out of room here. Okay, can't push it that way. 
<clears throat> I can't push this any further. Okay, there's plenty of room behind us here. Yep. Okay, why do you want to do it now, Jones? Oh, well. Let's see. What the heck? Up. Wait, it, there might be a door uh, behind that block. It's yeah, the it shortcut back. Oh. It's the block that we couldn't move because it was too high up for us. Hmm. Maybe web? Knew it. Okay. I'm guessing this is going to lead into the lighthouse chamber. It's not really a lighthouse, but close enough, I'd say. Lighthouse chamber? Really? <laughs> oh, hello. Bonfire. Yes, jump in your Yeah, more... Yeah, there's spiders down below that we'll have to deal with. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. A bundle oh. of firewood. Okay, not light it up the first moment we find it. Okay. Can't Who get put it candle. there? Okay. Okay. For a moment there, he he actually took aim whilst in midair. <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Maybe there's a bit of a relationship between Doctor Jones and John Wick. Wait, what? Okay, got a and also, of dead. I have not seen uh, the John Wick movies. Yeah, me neither. Do hey. it is hard to escape the memes. Medicinal herbs. Hmm. Gold. Now what? Medicinal herbs. I'm not sure if I touch uh, herbs that grew in other people's corpses, but oh well. Let's see here. Up hmm. you go. Where do we need to go then to actually find the correct chamber? Hmm. Yeah, what is well? Or is there something to the right here? Hmm. Yeah, you can move over there for some reason. And... Oh, hello. There's a there's a path this way. Okay. Alright. Making progress. There we go. Let's see, the creature's been quiet until I heard that damn roar again. That one? That sounds like a uh, wind. Uh, not the wind one. Oh, hello. Been a bit since we've had one of these. Oh, 
Alright, oh, reduce footsteps. Come on. There we go. Wrap oh. these one up with a bit of a joke. And there we have our way out. Okay. So that's where the uh, the crack wall was leading on the smaller <clears throat> on the smaller uh, pyramids. No need to. Whatever that was, <laughs> Doctor Jones. Okay. There. And immediately followed with the lighter. That must have been quite a really sense delicate me. balance. Yeah. Yes, and this one says the same as the rest. The light of knowledge opens yeah. all doors. <clears throat> okay. Also, uh, Dr. Jones, I don't think you have too much to say when complaining about that other people use dynamite for excavations when you just blew a hole in the side of a pyramid yourself. Yeah, I do. His method seems to be somewhat more controlled and less likely to bring down the entire structure. Yeah. <clears throat> now, where is that light shining? Came into view a bit uh, for a bit there, and. Okay, it's. Shining here, but uh, this is a bit small for uh, a statue like that. Water. Actually, can we move this? No, we can't grab this. So we are missing another piece of the puzzle. Yeah, wait. We are next to a shack with explosives. Where do you keep coming from? Hmm. Let's see, there's something in here that must have been overlooked. Let's try and see if we can get to the corner that way. Um, see anywhere we can climb from here? Where do we need to push that back in? Okay, there is somewhere this way, but we can't move this thing. Hmm. If we get to the other side, we can push it one more time and open up the <clears throat> open up the throughway. So I guess we'll have to climb again. Well, up you go. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, hmm. Don't really have anything to add. I think I. I think we can go two ways here, or is this path a dead end right up here? I hope not. No, it just connects two. Okay, might even be a bit shorter. Hmm. What is well? What is with all of the cracks down there? They're just decoration. There's no second hole or anything. 
Also, yeah, we only... All we got from that was... That the door opened, and then we blocked it off ourselves. Hmm. Is there really nowhere else here? Nope. Okay, push you in for a bit. Is there anywhere we're supposed to be to put you, or are you just a blockade? Either way. Let's see. Oh, oh we haven't been here. I was right, there is water. What a contraption. How does it work? Very clearly, something needs to be hung from that. Hmm. No! You're not hanging me on it! <laughs> yeah, you'd probably break it. What? Yeah, too heavy. Hey! <laughs> You're the one who wants the explanation. the way out from the chamber up. So do we have anything can we use the wheel there? I doubt it but it's worth a try. It does have some weight. It I'll glaze your boy. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay, he just doesn't react to anything that isn't whatever we need to do there. Hmm. That means we have missed something somewhere. Let's see, could this thing be blocking something here? Wait. Hold on. Can, can you pull it? From this side? No, there's not enough room. We, the only way we can pull it is to pull it out this way. And we are getting and pointed then... to something in that ruin. Actually, is that the tunnels that lead? Do the tunnels lead to it? Yeah, I think th this leads in, I think. Okay. Did we miss something then? Here we have the shimmy uh, parts. You, you, walk, you walk past something there. Yeah, that's the... That leads out to the button from where we climbed up. Oh. Yes. Wait, stop! I saw a cracked wall. We already we already broke to uh, down two walls here. Oh, so, oh here. Yeah. Yeah, it's only quite Okay. What's oh, this? Oh damn it. Well, it's gold. <laughs> Thought for a second that I heard one of the cats sneaking around, but no. Okay, we clearly missed something here. It's very obviously something on the map connects here to that pyramid. Actually, 
Oh yeah, we, we, we should have been able to do both of these pyramids here, it seems. Since they're both linked to this, we just completely missed whatever path leads to the other one. I will not be surprised. There's been so much going on, it has been hard to keep track. Wait. There. Hello. Sneaky. Yeah, I was to say, have you been at that hole in the ceiling? Okay, there's very obviously something. Yeah, snakes shuffling around here. Okay. Voice line missing. Okay, that was weird. Oh, it's a freaking bunch of them. I'm pretty sure the uh, all too known voice line from Dr. Jones should have been there. Can we just push this one in either? It's a door, but I can't seem to open it from this side. Okay. Also, how do you specifically identify it as a door? Uh. There we go. Easy waiting out. Hmm. Up you go. Now, what have we here? Is what have we here something that I say a lot? Not just in this game, but before as well. I think we uh -huh. both say that a lot. Uh, I now I get the feeling I might have picked it up from this game. I thought they just a common phrase. True. Okay. That did not work as expected. Hmm. Ah, there we go. I was thinking for a moment that is way too high to climb. Okay, no missing firework this time. No missing firework. Okay. Firework, firewood, bit. It really burns intensely. Good, that's the fourth light. But we still need something to open the the other one. Are you realize that one of the pyramids emitted a yellow light, correct? Uh, yeah. Pill cipher. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Is there a key? This order is used to push the light the lantern there. I don't think so. And again, I don't know why that this one wall just did not break fully. Let's see if this does anything. It might Doesn't be a case that if you, with that lit, maybe you'll be able to see it from other side to identify, oh, it is here. Oops, or I something. think I just saw something on the roof here. Oh, as in the fact there is no roof. Hey, an idol. And just drop in with the door. Okay. We're still missing something. But at least we can do this. Maybe get the... 
What the? We didn't even get a shot to see where the green light were glowing. Dr. Jones preparing for his new second career in uh, eye medicine. I forget. <laughs> I forget what the specific name is. Okay. Oh, what? Marker there? Wait, is something in the shack that we missed? I would not be surprised. We said that there could be something in the shock, and we did blew it up for some reason. Well, we <laughs> we needed to get in to get the drive shaft for the machine. Oh, what have we here? Hmm, this might be important. A bucket, really? All of issues with that puzzle. Was for a bucket? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure he could have can... just pushed it down or something to get the water flowing. Might be Actually, too heavy. We can just uh, get in through the front door. Or at least the upper door. I feel I just accidentally made a Yoku full circle. Okay. Now this is a bucket. Look at that thing go. Oh. The... Okay. <laughs> it's a bit like those water tipping birds. Yeah. <laughs> we just the same. Why are our minds in Link so much? <laughs> no, I never see the bird. I always see the birds go up and down, up and down. This is a bit next level. Yeah, this swing, swing, swing and this dip, swing and filling, dip, filling it up. Why is it over there now? Oh, and it's filled up. Oh, oh! The water reflects. And now there's all the plants growing, so let's What's just this? pluck these up. Medicinal herbs. Quick! Another Look one what here. I found. Medicinal herbs. There we go. Okay, one last operation before the doctor loses his license. Yeah. You should probably get ready to save. There. And that looks a bit like a fan with the imprints. Look like the quote unquote fairies. I don't forget the eye. In case we need it again. So the I new bike goes back to the mole people. Oh dear gods. But I think you're probably gonna need to heal up. Okay, I can hear this little bastard spawn in at times, I think. Okay, pretty yeah. sure this is the end of the level. Yeah, I 
because this is what we needed the wheel for. Just lift the entire damn thing up. This thing might still run if it had some gas. Oh, well, we know where we can find some gas. We do? Yeah, there's a jerry can on the back of the Jeep. Oh. Probably could have picked it up at the very start, and there's another one of the scorpions. Either there's a look. Either there's just a bunch of them roaming around, or they're actively spawning in every now and then. Uh, yeah, so perhaps the, the breeding ground? Aha. Uh -huh. Some gasoline. Anything in here for us to loot? Mm, can't even get a glimpse. Oh well. Dead air. Okay, uh, still got about 20 minutes to go. <clears throat> Don't know why, but these last few days I've been tiring out real easily. Maybe it's because I've been Same. getting up a lot earlier. And not entirely uh, right choice. Here. Uh, it's here. Mm. What is that noise? It, it's the tipping bird, I think. Maybe? Also, whose minecart is this? It looks a bit out of place compared to everything else. I don't think I've seen minecarts needing gas before. All aboard. I don't know if this is boss or faithful. It does look somewhat quick for era. I just never seen anything like this from this era. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the doors is are new. There we go. I, I keep getting scores of 26. That or lower. There we go. King Saul's Mines. And yeah, we have actual control of this thing. We can have go. Yeah, we can break by going and just pull on stop and go forwards. Okay. Now, what have we here? It, okay, this is definitely not of <laughs> Nubian times. Hmm. I guess uh, Horner <laughs> make this a bigger operation than we thought. Mm, here's where Horner ran his little railroad. I'll bet the levers control the switches. But without electric power, I can't switch the tracks. Okay. The motherfucker found King Solomon's mines and never told anyone. Well, he was dead. True, but this would have taken some hey. time to set up. A medical kit. See, what have we here? Okay, is that supposed to be mm. some good looking kid? Okay, I I think that's someone's you know, one of the game one of the developers' kids probably dressed up as indie. Okay. Now let's Keep an eye out for anything of use. And specifically a way to turn the power back off. Well, I think we know where it is going to be. Holy. Oh, 
Bonk. Oh, holy. Uh, I, I was press. I was going for control for crowd, but no, it's C. Let's see. Anything around here? A little. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay, it also looks rusted shut. Hmm. Let's take a look around. No scorpions or snakes in here, at least. There are some in the main entrance. Hmm. Hello. Anyone home? Okay, something needs to go here very obviously. Hmm. This might be important. Let's see. Need something that goes in there. Oh, that's one of the crystals. Do we put any of the... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we have the panel here, but... The crystal is out of alignment. Let's see, we can't push these. I think we need something like a crowbar to get that box open. I'm guessing that has fuses or something in them. For the mm. moment, I can't see anything here. Okay, anything else in this area? Okay, we can't take the, the, the shovel. I'm just glad you could... Oh, wait. Are you supposed to take it in? What have we here? You just could have used the shovel for that, Indy. I feel like the game devs wanted to have fun with dynamite. Anything in the shadows? Okay, then, on to the next area. Are the switches labeled? Or uh, which of them yeah, they are. are. Yeah, I meant more on them themselves. Oh. That is a good question. Clearly, this is still working. Somewhat. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's something here. There we go, there's a side bit. Oop. Along with the side snake. all of them. Okay. Wait. The 
This leads back to the entrance. Yes, it does. Okay. Hmm. Is there anything on the other side here? Maybe. Or just another door. Yeah, it's the <laughs> it's the bars that Indy hit his head on. Why are those boars here? And okay, they are labeled. I think you will be able to use What's these, this? Dr. Jones. First aid. There's something down there. Yeah. Look what I found. Okay. Shiny. Anything on this side? Nope. One side has the shiny, the other has the dark abyss. Okay. Let's go back to the carts. Huh. We'll have to get our hands on a fuse somewhere. It's probably in that box, but we'll need something to break it open. Anything in these alcoves? No. Okay, then we're heading out. Ducks for like a short bit. And we're back here. Is there a crowbar hidden here or something? Actually, let's check the map. Okay. Hmm. It's pointing towards the box. Can we just break it open normally then? Maybe. <laughs> Look. Whoa, yep. it opened. Hey, a 50 amp fuse. Uh, th this game has us overthinking stuff. Okay, you're the one overthinking it. Okay. Uh, ride around. Okay. Now we can change the tracks. Once we put it in place, that is. Ow. Not too smart, Dr. Jones. Obviously, he didn't get his doctorate in electronics. Now, let's see. Uh, if the cart is current... Um, let's see. The, that is the entrance. We've gone that way. And now we are in that line. So, yeah. We switch one and four, and then we'll be in a bit of a loop there. Uh, oh, never mind. Hmm. 
This one doesn't work. Maybe the switch is stuck. Okay, so we're not getting into that area yet. No. How much? Okay. If we switch three, we should be getting to a new bit as well. I'm guessing each of the circles represents a door. Likely, and how do they have something we need to fix one of the switches? Yeah, we, we're not getting in the four or five area yet. So actually, oh, I see. Four is <clears throat> four turns the, everything to the exits or to the next area. Okay, that is why I, that's why that one is stuck. Okay, we won't be getting into that area there, but we will be able to get there on a second run. So for now, we hop back in and full throttle. Though this thing does look a bit like the. Ten <laughs> The tetanus to be immobile. Oh, the Again, yeah, this is probably 20 years old. Oh, cinematic camera. Oh, hello. Of course, it wouldn't be that easy. What the? Impossible. Otherwise, Straliai the dog. Straliai? How would it boot shit or something? Let's... Anything in here? Oh, I got a glimpse. Yep. Hmm. Shiny! Precious, precious shiny. And what have we around here? Part of the mine. A single spider? Yep. Oh. Okay, not heading this way, obviously. Up there is the spiders. They wait until you pause them? Yeah, up. The damn it. Ew. Not need a close up. Okay, so they can poison us even whilst they're still coming down like that. I just have cold, uh, cold shivers along my back. That's another thing I hate about spiders: them being ambush predators. Okay. I'm not stopping for that med kit. that lead no, immediately to another door okay get back in Oop, never mind what have we here yeah I'm pretty sure after Indy is done here he should be able to retire off of just a huge amount of money so this is 1950s money so it'll be worth a lot more than it is Today's in today's money. Oh my God! Oh, right. We don't enjoy it. No. Oop, that's the timer. 
Let's look a little bit more since we're already climbing. Poison kit. Look what I found. Some medicine. Did I die from poison before being able to take the poison kit? Possible. Or just being stuck in here. Dehydration and that. Ugh. See, nothing there. Okay. And, yeah, we're going to call it here. It's uh, 13.1. And, yeah, it, it would have been too easy for us to get through this area without getting harassed by the Russians. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, double check. Okay, yeah, 30. I do like that it also has these start saves, just in case. There's some games... Hmm. I, I think I remember that some games, even uh, in more recent times, more like the 2010s and such, uh, didn't have auto-save features on levels. So if you, got your, if you made progress and got yourself killed, you would just lose all of that progress. In 2010s, it was becoming more normal and normal, but... You could always find that one game that apparently forgot the memo. Yeah, or didn't get the memo. Well, well. For now, let's head on over here and go look for someone to raid. So first off, the browser, Twitch, change the screen share to Twitch. And let's have a look. We have Sipco Gaming Guild, who are starting up just now, I think. Seeing as they have zero viewers at the moment, they're streaming Traveler's Rest. Uh, let me double check that the place is muted. It is. Okay, yeah, they're still in their pre stream. Uh, apparently, one of them. Apparently, it's one of their. Uh, <coughs> apparently, it's uh, the birthday of one of their number. Then we have Kevin I, who is streaming Octopath, or will be tra streaming Octopath uh, Traveler 2. Uh, they only just started as well, it seems. We have I'm Gneiss, who is streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, I'm considering re-upping my subscription with this uh, soon again. Uh, because, yeah, the same people who have been uh, playing Minecraft with... The, the medieval mod pack, they've also been playing Final Fantasy XIV together a lot. So I might as well get, oh, get in on that. Uh, I just noticed that Kiri Natsuyoko is streaming Aragami, one of the first games that we streamed. Yeah. Uh, oh, they, oh, they just finished it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, we streamed Aragami mm -hmm. before we uh, saved our, uh, <clears throat> our VODs. Uh, but yeah, there was a, it was still a very nice game. A bit flawed and annoying here and there, but very nice. Still got to try the sequel sometime. Oh, yeah. The, should that sequel have been out now? Yeah, it is. It, the reviews of it are a bit mixed, but I think that could in part be because a lot of them say that they tried something uh, different. Uh, but we'll just have to see when we actually get to stream it. <clears throat> uh, next we have Ravi Raccoon streaming Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Big V streams with Morrowind. I'll keep clicking through. Uh, to... uh, Zoe from the Yogscast just started up with Hitman World of Assassination. Puffle Cakey is streaming Nitro Stream Racing. Okay, for, for a moment I thought that would be uh, some, and that it's uh, for a moment I thought it was that Crash Bandicoot racing game, but no, they <laughs> that's called something different. Uh, then we have the Lazy General with Contraband Police, and yeah, that's about it in the range that we typically raid in. Any of them sound interesting? Uh, K9 just started up with Diablo 4 beta. Hmm. We did 
We did the contraband thing, uh, contraband police yesterday, I think. Yeah, we so raided probably someone could... playing that yesterday. That was, let me check. It, it was, was the same guy. Was Jordan Fio or was that Lazy General? It was Lazy General. It was the same guy. Okay. So uh, Another case of my memory being poor. Who then instead? Good question. Hmm. Kiwi is just done, so they might swap over to something else or end their stream. Uh, or are they running challenges or something, it looks like? No, they... Hmm. Yeah, let's see. I'm not sure who to raid. Hmm. Yeah, we don't sure as well. I'm thinking... Big V streams or Ruffy Raccoon? Uh, big V streams, I say. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta, copy the name over. Uh, Morrowind was actually the first of the Elder Scrolls games that I ever played, and I never got anywhere far with it at all. Either I think I've said this before, either I got completely lost because it doesn't actually have the. Uh, it doesn't give you any markers or such as to where you need to go. It actually gives you just plain directions. Go right here, go left there and such. Or I just would or I would just get ganked by those freaking cliff razors and torn to bits. Or annoyed into quitting. First one for me was probably Oblivion. Which everyone kept everyone kept telling me the graphic graphics were awesome. But when I saw it I was looked at some of them. I asked them, are you fucking kidding me? Well, okay, move. Are you kidding me? I did not swear. I just, are you going to go? And they thought, what? It, it's good graphics. They all said, no, this is hideous. <laughs> yeah, it, it is way over lit for compared to what everyone, uh, what is considered good nowadays. <clears throat> even, even then, I thought it looked horrible. I said that whatever they tried here is horrible. And I did try to play a little bit, but I struggled to play that game. Most because how, like, the almost looked fine, the structure looked fine, but all oh, the characters looked so... Bloated. Uh, it, it was hard to look at them talk. Okay. I'm not sure if we'll ever stream any of the Elder Scrolls. I know that Elder Scrolls 2 is very interesting for what it could do for the time. Uh, uh, but this one, yeah, any stream of it would be very, very long to... <laughs> I, hell, there's one that might work. However, probably is it's old. But this is 3D, so it could be possible. It's also if it's in Gyu Gyu Steam. Elder Scrolls... Hammerfell. Okay. Uh, Is there the there's... spin off where you don't, where you are only one character and a, and a Hammerfell? A Red God, I mean. Okay. Are you talking about uh, Elder Scrolls Red Guard? It might be that, be that name, yeah. I'll have to look it up. I, I've heard of that game. Uh, but I, I don't remember much of it. Maybe it was just not worth remembering, or it was considered bad, so I just purged it out. But I think yeah, I'm not sure a... if we'll ever do Elder Scrolls. Or... Yeah, as a series, no. <laughs> Definitely not our, our usual from A to B point, but maybe Skyrim sometime. Oh, uh, dear. Probably modded half the health to, just to make it a combat more interesting. But uh, yeah, for now, uh, slash raid, paste it in the name. Uh, before we started, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy, for showing up and chilling along a bit. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. And thank you as always as well, Vakir. You're welcome, all, Hillian. And thank you, Noon, for lurking about. And there we yeah. see Noon. <laughs> he was so good at lurking, I actually forgot he was here. <laughs> Uh, thank you as Make well. Make sure you didn't yeah. eat your snacks. And uh, yeah, maybe another stream today in about three hours ish or so. Uh, we'll still we'll still see what we might stream again if we do another stream. But for now, uh, 
yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for scorpions, snakes, and spiders. <laughs> yeah. Stream deck. Come on. Push the button.